hi my dear friends welcome to my tutorial in this tutorial i will demonstrate you that how can you draw this simple minimal logo design by using inkscape so first i will show you the logo requirements submitted by the client he says that logo must have a triangular shape with a bold and minimal look and he is open to any idea suggested by me he also stated that two alphabets b and d must be written with the logo in uppercase and he don't want any existing font so I have to design both of these alphabets the color combination should be red whether dark or light or it's a combination or both the most important he says that it's a game logo so please don't give it a business look so after reading all of these requirements let's start with the logo design process so first of all we will set the document properties so in Inkscape, go to File, select the Document Properties and select the Display Units to Pixels and also the Custom Units to Pixels. Now select the Width to 1280 and Height to 820 Pixels. And now select Zoom to Fit and here we have a shape that I have already drawn. So let's start by using the Pen Tool. So draw a straight line from this end to this end now this line looks very thinner so I will increase its stroke width to say 3 pixels like this now it's better now I will increase its width to 600 pixels here again select the pen tool and draw a line from this end to this end now this line is also very thinner so we will increase its width to 3 pixels and decrease its height to say 70 pixels like this. Now we want to place this line at the edge of this line. So here first of all we have to turn on the snap tools like this and in the snap we have to turn on the rectangle snap. Now we can place this at this end like this. Now select this line, right click and duplicate it and place it at this edge now select the smaller line duplicate it place it like here and decrease its dimension to say 35 pixels and also place it at this edge again select this line right click and duplicate it and place it at this edge now we can delete these unwanted lines and now select all of these three lines go to path and select combine now right click and duplicate it and now flip it horizontally like this then go to transform and in the rotate menu select the angle to say 60 degrees in this direction and click apply here we have now place this edge at this edge of the line like this now again select this line right click and duplicate it and flip it vertically like this and place this edge at this edge of the line now select Z from the keyboard and zoom this edge that whether it's connected or not I think it's not so select this line and place it like this now it is confirmed that it is connected now we want to draw some simple elements so again click the zoom button from the keyboard and zoom out this portion select the pen tool and draw a line from this edge look that here we are not coming any snap from this intersection point so we will turn on this intersection point tool like this and now we have the path intersection so we will drag a line from this edge to this edge and we will continue from this edge to this edge and now we will finish it like this so we will also increase the dimensions or you can say stroke width of this line to say 3 pixels now 
zoom to fit and select this object right click and duplicate it now again go to transform and the rotate menu at 60 degrees rotate it twice first and second now place it at this edge now again right click and duplicate this object and also rotate it at 60 degrees twice first second and now place it here now we are almost done so select all of the objects by dragging the mouse and go to path select combine now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this and place it below our main object now select both of the objects go to path and select division now we doesn't have any clear view that which parts we want to keep and which parts we want to delete so select all of the objects and select a stroke color say black color with the left click of mouse while holding down the shift key now it's better now we can delete the unwanted parts with the left click of mouse while holding down the delete key so first of all hold down the delete key and delete this part with the left click of mouse like this now we will continue the deleting unparted parts this sorry we will redo it by using control plus z again like this and this one now we are done select all of the objects go to path and select union now this is our final logo remember that we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by left clicking on this control icon while holding down the shift key like this now we have to write a two alphabets b and d with the logo which is the requirement of the client so we will also custom write our text we will not use any font because it's not in the requirement because client requires the text that we must include we must read write so we will turn on the snap tools go to pen tool and draw a line from this edge to this one like this now we want to keep a better distance so we'll again draw a line like this and keep its dimensions to 60 pixels like this one and place it at this edge now all again select this line right click duplicate it and place it at this edge now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this intersection point to this intersection point also from this intersection point to this intersection point and again like this and now vertical lines like this and like this look that we want to give it similar look like our logo so what we will do we will select the pen tool and draw a line from this edge to this edge like this increase its dimensions by holding down the control key like this now we will select the line and also our logo go to path and select division no now the logo is divided into parts we want to copy this part so we will copy it by duplicating right click and duplicate it and now here we will again select our logo like this go to path and combine now zoom to fit select this part and zoom it like this now select this edit path nodes tool select this node and this node and go to align and distribute menu 
and arrange it like this again select zoom to fit and place it at this edge like this again duplicate this object and place it like here we will change its color to make some difference like this so first of all we will select all of the objects go to path and select union now place it at this edge again duplicate it flip it horizontally and place it at this edge now select this path and again select the B while holding down the shift key so we can select both of the parts at a time now go to path and select difference again hold down the shift <coughs> sorry again hold down the shift key and select this blue triangle and this outside area go to path and select difference like this again select this triangle duplicate it and flip it horizontally like this and here select all of the objects go to path and select union now right click and duplicate it and drag it with the mouse while holding down the control key so we will turn off the snap tools so we can easily arrange it anywhere we want so it will be better at this distance now we want to convert this B into D so what we will do we will select the rectangle tool and again turn on the snap nodes tool now from this edge to this edge now we will select this rectangle and this D while holding down the shift key now go to path and select difference now this letter represents B and this letter represents D now we will delete the unwanted parts so we can select all the lines at a time by holding down the alternate key and dragging the mouse over the lines like this and press delete now this is our final logo now we want to give it some colors which I have already decided so select this logo and go to dropper here we want to give this logo this color and for the text we will select the text go to the dropper sorry dropper and select this color now we can delete these colors because we only need this logo now we will arrange it at different shapes for better visuals like this now please tell me in the comments that which one is better one or two and thank you very much for watching the video if you think that this video helps you in some way then please like and subscribe the channel so we will meet in the next video thank you very much and have a nice day